What up friends, hope it's going well. So wanted to give you just probably one of my top two, maybe top three, maybe even my best, my top tip for strumming. Uh, before I give it to you, I just want to acknowledge strumming is hard. Strumming is can be, it is, it's the most problematic, um, frustrating things that, that beginners go through and even people who have been playing for a while to get the rhythm, to get the strumming, to to not lose your pick. I'm sure everybody has probably lost their pick in this hole before and you were like, you know, doing one of these things where you have to like shake it and, and get it to come out. Um, so strumming is hard. Strumming is very hard. I'm gonna give you some of the, some practical tips uh, leading up in this, I'll call it my um, strumming series. And this is gonna be the first one and it has nothing to do with actually strumming. Um, and it has to do with your guitar pick. And I feel like not a lot of people talk about this, um, or at least I kind I haven't seen it much. Um, this is, you know, I talk about fundamentals. I talk about getting our foundation laid, whether it's, you know, with these G chords, these two fingers down here, or whether it's finger picking, getting things locked in. The fundamental, uh, the foundations for for learning how to strum and getting better at strumming is using a really, really thin pick. So. If you if you don't know much about picks, um, you know this the the one that I and I'm sure you've seen me like this is the one like I usually use when I'm using a rhythm or when I'm doing a rhythm, um, but this is a really this is an, a really thin one, so it's um it's a Jim Dunlop 0.46 mm, um, and and you can see let's see if I can like I can really bend this thing really well. And, and let me just show you, I'm not saying I want you to use this pick for the rest of your life, although I've been using it and I've been playing for like 10 years um, and I feel like I'm an okay player. So the, the, the pick matters a ton, getting your foundations right, but don't, don't be overly concerned like, whoa, it's just, it's a thin pick. It's not going to sound good. Well, you know what? You let the pick do the work. Like you're, you let the guitar do the work. I mean, the guitar is going to sound good. Uh, you're gonna be producing sound whether you use a thin pick or whether you use a, a thick pick. And I'll kind of get more into that maybe in a future video, like when to use, like when I use different picks, why I use different picks for different songs. But anyways, back to the back to the thin pick. So um, you need it to be really flexible and like really bendable because when you're beginning to strum, you're not gonna be good. I'm just gonna tell you, you're not gonna be good. You're gonna mess up a lot and, um, and you're gonna lose, you lose your pick a lot. And what, what a super thin pick does, it gives you room for error. So it gives you margin for error. It allows you to kind of make some mistakes, but get away with it. Whereas if you, you, you were using a thicker pick, the room for like the margin for error, you have to be just perfect on where you're placing the pick and and your strumming has to be really, really good because that, that pick is thick. It has no give. It doesn't have any wiggle room to like allow you to slightly be off. So um so this the the thin pick is gonna be, I guess I I would equate it to kind of like training wheels for a bike. Like this thin pick is gonna be your training wheels uh, to give you that good foundation. So it's gonna be, it's gonna allow you to make some mistakes but get away with it. And it's just gonna allow your, your hand when you're strumming just to go much more freely, much more smoothly because it's thin. It's not going to get caught up and like tangled almost in these, in the, in the strings when you're like, when you're coming up, which is why, which is why the, you, you lose your pick in this little hole here all the times, because when you come up, you're, you, it's, you you might be using a thick pick, and the it just gets jammed in there and you and you lose it. So <clears throat> so using a thin pick, I so I I've I've taught this to so many people like in my church. 
um, and, and, and through lessons, you will see a definite, a marked difference, a marked improvement, a noticeable improvement if you are having trouble strumming with rhythm. Um, it might not be, I'm not going to say this is a magic fix where, you know, it's going to magically turn you into John Mayer or, um, you know, whatever other awesome guitar players there are. Uh, but this is going to allow you to make some mistakes. And not have a perfect strum, perfect rhythm while you're learning um, and while you're developing that good rhythm. Um, so this is, again, this, this is kind of like training wheels. This is gonna help you, It's again, it's a 0.46 mm Jim Dunlop. Um, it's gonna help you build that foundation. And I don't wanna knock it just as training wheels because guys, I still use this pick. When I'm doing, when, I, when I'm doing uh, faster, more up-tempo songs, and even just songs in general, I just love the pick. I love the thin pick, it's just so smooth. And it's so, it just glides nice and easy down the strings. Now, if I were going to be doing a song where I was doing some picking. I'm not going to use this super thin pick because it's just, it's not going to give me the punch that I kind of want to hear. So I would use a thicker pick. But let's just, let me show you this um, maybe in a practical song in an example. Let's just say I was playing Glorious Day. Um, by uh, Passion, I think. Uh, that's a really fast song with rhythm and it's acoustically driven. So the acoustic is dominant, in, the, in especially in the first verse, the intro in the first verse. So if you're leading that on the acoustic, you better make sure you can get that strumming down. So I'm gonna show you um, playing it with this pick and then also playing it with this really thick pick here. And I'll just kind of like, you'll be able to either see or hear maybe a difference in just uh, the, the rhythm. So, that was buried beneath my shame. So, I mean, it's just so smooth. It's just so smooth. So now I'm gonna switch to a thicker pick, and this one is also a, a Dunlop. It's a 0.88 mm. So it's, I mean, there's like no give at all. There's like no bend at all in this type of a pick. So again, if I was doing a, a picking song, I would use this a thicker pick, maybe not this thick, but something like this. But if I'm doing a rhythm song like this one, it's just gonna make this so much harder for me and like for you. And I, and I was So I don't know if you can hear difference or tell, but this is just so much more, I guess, rigid. Um, it just, it, it's almost like, it just kind of gets like tangled in these, the strings. And when you're doing something that fast, a song of that fast, where it's, it, the, it's acoustically driven, um, you may, you need to make sure you can get that going and there's no resistance. So that would be um, probably my, my, my number one, my number two um, tip for becoming a better strummer um, and being able to strum uh, well and, and just fluidly. Because as an acoustic player, you wanna be able to be fluid, you wanna be smooth, you don't want to have a lot of uh, herky-jerky or whatever that saying is. Um, you just kinda want it to be complimentary to, to what's going on. Um, so if you have questions, definitely leave a comment, let me know. I think this is gonna help you guys out a ton. I know people struggle so, so much with strumming. I know I did, and until I discovered the thin, thin, thin pick, um, like I don't even know, five, six years into playing, um, it, it, uh, 
it kind of, I don't want to say it solved a lot of issues, but it made things so much easier for me. And I think it will for you too. So um, that's it. Love you guys. Take care. Uh, drop a comment if you have any questions or you're confused uh, with anything in the lesson. I'll talk to you guys next time.